Welcome back guys, it is Punt Factor bringing you all the abs and fun stuff, green white value towns, and many collected company deck of whatever. Um, so today I'm going to continue playing uh, abs and company, and I did make some changes, so I'm still kind of testing those changes out. Um, it's my basic abs and company list, but I'm adding in the three ranger captain of EOS, and I took out, let's see here. I took out two of the Eldomery's Calls. I took out one Viscera Seer and one Duskwatch Recruiter. So that gave me four slots. Um, I added in one Hex Drinker just for some, you know, game one if it gets grindy and fair. Um, and then I also added in the three Ranger Captains. So taking out the Eldomery's Calls... Uh, I felt like they were just a little too awkward sometimes, a little too slow. Um, and the nice thing is, I mean, Ranger Captain can just immediately search up a Ballista or can search up a Seer. So I kind of felt like the Ranger Captains sort of achieve a little bit of the same goal that the uh, Eladomri's Calls um, were achieving, sort of, when it comes to the combo at least. Um, and that's why, you know, dropping one Duskwatch Recruiter, we just don't rely on it nearly as much. Uh, these three Rangers kind of act um, act as like, you know, combo combo enablers. So, and then that's the same with the Viscerous here as well. It being CMC1, the Ranger Captain can just get it. So, I felt like going, you know, going down to a one and one uh, on these guys was fine. Um, now, onto the sideboard, I took out one Scavenging News and added in... Uh, one Hex Drinker, and then what else did I drop here? What else did I drop? Maybe a Collector Oof. Did I drop a Collector Oof? Yes. Dropped a Collector Oof uh, for another Hex Drinker. So I definitely don't want to lose to sort of the mid-range. I mean, Jund is like a, is a real thing. And... You know, games where we have to combo faster than our opponent, we can just focus on comboing faster than our opponent. Um, but games where, you know, we want to take out a piece of the combo, whether it be the infinite life gain um, or the ballistic kill, um, I feel like I want to side into a very serious mid-range game. And I just think Hex Drinker alongside um, one Scavenging News, alongside all of this removal... Um, and then obviously our splash of flavor, um, whether that be Plague Engineer for, you know, the go wide token strategies, um, or Knight of Autumns, you know, etc. Sing Collector for some of those combo, uh, combo games. And then I also bring in a Gideon ally of Zendigar. Mm -hmm. Um, he's mm -hmm. new, but he's just, he's awesome. He closes games out quick. So we are going to go ahead and jump into a, to a two player queue here. see how we do let's make sure I am recording and I am and let me let me turn down the the moto sounds for you guys I get comments on that and I feel bad because I know it does blow your ears out cool so yeah I've been really happy with um, with this configuration, I mean, I, I, I just made these changes, but I feel like, you know, the nice thing about the Ranger Captain is his sack ability. Um, unfortunately, this one's foil, drives me insane. I hate foils online, but the sack ability, um, so the opponent can't cast non-creature spells, you know, with the, is it Phoenix matchup? That's just fantastic. A lot of the time, you know, they drop a uh, thing in the ice on two. You know, we can grab a Ranger Captain, um, snag something else and just sack it to like you know get rid of their turn essentially basically time walks them um late game and we have a bunch of mana you know we can eternal witness this back um time walk again i i just find this card's utility fantastic and because it does allow us to search up our uh, our win conditions in our combo um i kind of think it's a no-brainer for this deck so we're on the play This hand is a little land heavy. We are on the draw, which is good. 
we can get out a quick Finx. This deck's like, or this, this deck, this hand is okay against sort of the mid-range matchups. Uh, is a f turn two Finx good enough? I'm going to keep it. T West. Okay. That's not what I wanted to see. We'll go ahead and just bird here. Do not want to see more lands. If we don't draw a land for the rest of the game, I'll be happy. Opt. Okay. Accord's actually really good. So let's go ahead and shock in. They missed a land drop too, which is awesome. Let's get this Sphinx out. So next turn, one, two, three, four, five. We can get a Viscera Seer. I don't know if we can... Did they miss another land drop? Wow. That's bad for them. God, we are getting flooded. So what do we want to do here? I don't know if I want to assemble. We could get a. We could quarter Ranger Captain. So one, two, three, four. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go here? We'll cycle this canopy. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just swing in here. We'll play this tapped. And then on their end step will company. I think they're just seeing kind of what we're doing. So let's go Vizier, Eternal Witness, any order. Let's go ahead and get back Collected Company. Yeah, they're just seeing how we win here. We're just drawing all the lands. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's fine. Three, four, five, six. We could get Shalai. Two, three, four, five, six, three, four. No, we couldn't. Ah, sure. Let's just company here. Devoted Druid, Ranger Captain. Okay. I have no idea what they're doing. So, blue. Bring in a Gideon. Let's get rid of scavenging news. Maybe, yeah, that's fine. Let's just, I have no idea. I mean, Teleria West. 
Let's just try to combo them. Ah, what is up with getting so much land here? Let's maul this. This is a little better. And let's get rid of Shalai. Done. Play that tapped. Next turn, we'll play a Dusk Watch into a Finx. Serum Visions. Hex Drinkers. Really solid late game. Once we're sure that they're not going to Okay. For a blue instant card, reveal it. This is some weird stuff. So what are they going to show us? Okay. That's good. So... Let's go with Thinks. Discard three. Opt. What are they looking for? I am so confused. Oh, is this the um the sort of pseudo storm? Oh, uh, what's it called? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, twiddle. Okay. Well, we have the win if we can untap with Druid. I think they're probably just gonna gonna go off here though. If they don't go off, we win. But I think yeah, I think Lotus Filled is what allows them to to go off. So we'll just F six here. But now that I know kind of what they're up to, we can we can have a better post board game plan. We kind of had a weird hand, uh, just how it unfolded. Kind of cobbling a bunch of weird pieces together. Yeah, they're they're going off here.
I've never seen this deck go off. Permanent, sure. Grape shot. Oh yeah, okay. We are we are super dead here. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Eidolon of rhetoric is good. Hex Drinker is not, it's too slow. Shalai is good. Gideon we don't need. Um, could probably take out Mirror Entity. Yeah, the Infinite Life will be fine. They, they can't win through that. Um... Oh, I'm not that familiar with this deck. I don't know, like, if Sin Collector... We have two cards that we could bring in. Assassin's Trophy might not be atrocious. I mean, if we were playing against Storm, I know exactly how to play against that deck. But this Twiddle deck, I'm not entirely sure. Um... Why don't we bring in a couple assassins trophies? Cause what we can we can try to do is is Assassin's Trophy their Lotus Field. If that's what it's called, I think it's what it's called. Alright, so turn one bird. Turn two Turn one bird. Turn to Dusk Watch. I think we keep. I wish we had a Druid, but I think we keep this. So, turn to Dusk Watch. Okay, that's actually, that's a really good draw. Turn three. Company on their end step. And then... There's a Sphinx. Okay, so... Why don't we company now? That way if we hit... So Eternal Witness... Ranger Captain any order get back company ranger captain let's get <sighs> we 
We already have a dusk watch. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I feel like I want to sack Ranger Captain here so they can't go off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, which we would be able to. Yeah, we'll get our Viscerous here. That's fine, even though. So with that still on the stack, we're going to sacrifice this. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so perfect. So we could go one, two, crap. Oh, wait, no, he cost, they cost one less. So we can just get infinite life this turn. So we play Vizier for one, we play Finx for two, and we play Seer for one. And then we just go off. So let's play Finx. Oh wait, is that gonna screw us? This Gavany I think is gonna screw us. Okay, that's okay. So let's play Vizier. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six to get two, three, four, five. Six. Now this is fine. Let's go here. Let's get Eidolon of Rhetoric. And let's just pass the turn. Awesome. Now we can play out Vizier. Thanks. Oh, I can only play I can only play one a turn. My bad. I always do that. I always think this is one sided. Should have swung in there for one. So on their turn, we'll we'll go ahead and company. Good. There's your one spell. 
or we could just we could just core one two three four five six we could just cord for um okay and get black mana what do we want to do we want to cord or do we want to accompany now let's just go ahead and see if we can close this game out and see if we can hit a lucky company. Sure. That's what we were going to kind of court for anyway. Play land, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to keep up seven. Actually, here's what we're going to do. Three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and get a Shalai. Unless I boarded them out. I don't think I did. I think I think I boarded out mere entity. Where shall I at? There it is. Cool. We got there, guys. <clears throat> um so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh like I said, I do like uh I like this configuration with this. Um, mainly, like I said before, with Is It Phoenix. Um, and even there, you know, we were able to... I don't know if he would have been able to go off. Um, I kind of feel like he might have been able to. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, you know, just sacking that there and making him um, kind of go for it. I have no idea what else he would have had. But... You know, this secondary sack ability is extremely nice. Um, I know this was also, you know, Ranger Captain had a nice showing in um, the Death Shadow, the Mardu, the Mardu Shadow list with Unearth. And that's a super sweet card with uh, with Ranger Captain. And I just think Hex Drinkers are pretty solid in the, in the mid-range grind. I don't think, though, the more I play, I don't think I want more than one. It's kind of like having that scavenging news. Um, you know, it, it's not doesn't really go with your with your game plan, um, but having them in the deck is nice. Skew's main board, um, I, I don't disagree with. I think Skew's main board is very good, but only having one is and no real way. I mean, apart of uh, apart from cord. But I kind of feel like when you're at the level where court is relevant, you're never going to be courting for a scavenging news. You know, because court kind of implies that you have other creatures on the board. Um, I mean, if you're hard casting, if, if you're at like, you know, six mana on the board and you, ha and you have no creatures and you, uh, you know, you've probably lost the game at that point. So I'm assuming that if court is going to be a relevant card in the game, you're going to have a board of creatures. Um, and I, I highly doubt you're going to just go and search up a skews, um, you know, when you're trying to assemble the other, the other couple combos um, in the deck. So I'm kind of iffy on, iffy on skews. I, I think if I would drop skews and put them side, I think I would want maybe another eternal witness, honestly, um, I don't even think I'd want another Hex Drinker. Only because, you know, the, the, the Ranger can get it. Um, and then also, it being a CMC 1, it is nice, like, recurring that with an Eternal Witness. Um, I don't know, though. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, this is Punt Factor bringing you all the Abzan junk. More to come, guys.